Looking forward, rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar in the future. Most major economies already have or are in the process of developing instant 24-7 payments. Our own FedNow service will be coming online in 2023. And in light of the tremendous growth in crypto assets and stable coins, we are examining whether a U.S. central bank digital currency would improve upon what is an already safe and efficient domestic payment system. Our, as our white paper on this topic notes, a U.S. CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standard. So if you're poor and you have a small bank account, it'll be converted one-to-one -one straight away, and you'll probably even find that you get a free gift from the government to get kickstart the system. Maybe three or five thousand pounds will be given to every citizen gratuitously to kickstart the system in the new CBDC. But if you have a hundred thousand or a million in the bank, you're going to be told, yes, it's one-to-one, -to -one, but you're going to have to wait to convert it to the new currency. Now, wait means never. We all know that. Uh, but they won't tell you that. They'll say it's a temporary suspension because we're in the middle of a crisis. The people are rioting in the streets. We need to calm the system. So here's some free money, everybody. Go and enjoy yourselves. And by the way, the rich can't convert their money for a while, uh, but they'll be able to do so later. You won't be able to convert those old dollars until you've got the cash. But when you get the cash, you'll need permission to do it. And you're not going to get that permission. It'll be exactly like we had in Britain back before 1975 when we had the exchange controls. They don't take cash. Look at this. I have one of every bill, 100, 50, or 20, or 10, or 5, and 1. And I can't use any of them here to buy a stupid cup of coffee. One sugar, or a little bit of cream. I have cash. No cash. You don't take cash? No. You don't take cash. Look at this. No. Executive Order 6102 was a presidential executive order that required Americans to surrender much of their gold to the U.S. government. President Franklin D. Roosevelt passed the order in 1933 as a reaction to the crippling effect of the Great Depression on the U.S. economy. The order was issued within a month of FDR's inauguration, and all Americans were required to forfeit their gold to the government. However, each person in the household could retain up to five troy ounces of gold bullion coins. Those who surrendered their gold were compensated with $20.67 per troy ounce, the spot price of gold at the time. Many were upset by this. I'll show you gladly you wanna play your life